Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house. Back at you because it's time for Sunday sauce, our collective read. So guys, let's see what's cooking in the gravy, yeah? Clear and ground for Sunday sauce, please. Thank you. As above, so below. There is no beginning, there is no end. It is with an attitude of gratitude that I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors, obviously in this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relay clear and concise messages for the higher good of our collective of Sunday's thoughts. Guys, you really know it's gravy, right? There's a, there's a clear delineation. It's gravy, but sauce sounds better with Sunday. Here we go. Show me the energy. Let's see who and how I'm going to help somebody out there today. Yeah? All right. It's fluid. I can be speaking about you or somebody in your energetic field. Show me what's going on, please. What is cooking in the gravy? By the way, guys, thank you for taking the valuable time out of your day to join us. We see you. We acknowledge you. We are so very grateful for your presence. And whether or not anybody else has told you this today, Delilah Tiberius Fable, and I love you. It's solid for conditions of freaking facts. Here we go. I'm itchy. Hold on a minute. Here we go. Go. <clears throat> Can I please see what's cooking in the gravy? What is it? CIA information? I'm not asking about Area 51. We have the Herman in reverse. Virgo energy. The ninth could be of significance or perhaps something about September. The Herman in reverse is somebody who's lonely. This person is withdrawn. This person feels isolated. There could be a level of paranoia here. This person just, you know, they don't do good out in, in crowds or in public. You know what this is, the Herman in reverse? This is the loneliest person in the world that's in the middle of a crowd. Did you ever get that experience where you're out, you're surrounded by people, but you feel more lonely than you ever did when you were sitting by yourself? Okay? Yeah, let's see what's going on here. Show me. This person might be a little older, but it doesn't have to be. The hermit, they say the wise old sage, has nothing to do with your age. It's about your life experiences and uh, how you transmute them, okay? And your life lessons. So let's see what's going on. So, please and thank you. Can I have a card? Wow. Usually this card slips out of my hands because this cardboard is so strange. It's like slippery, shiny cardboard, but I don't know what the hell. There we go. There we go. All right, good. So we have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. This is the problem because somebody's lonely and isolated. They don't want to put any work or effort into something. Now, it could be their finances and their career. But in this instance, I got to be honest, I'm feeling like what it is is uh, they don't want to put any effort into like maybe even relationships with people. Here, you got strength at the bottom of the uh, the bottom of the situation here. The foundation of the situation, you have strength. Leo energy, okay? Leo energy is about, you know, bravery, confidence, and trying to overcome any self-doubt. Yeah. I really feel like these need to go this way. Thank you, spirit and ancestors. So, because somebody here needs to be strong. Somebody needs to get their courage up and, uh, you know, not have low self-esteem or not be insecure or not, you know, this is what this is. I'm feeling like this might be a challenge for somebody, but in, in reality, the challenge is going to turn out to be very beneficial. All right, so whoever you are, if you're a lonely person, the loneliest person in the crowd, if you feel isolated and you're not really like, you know, Wanting to play well with the other children, you need to be strong and resilient and have self-confidence, okay? Something about a leopard print or a leopard, a leopard print. At the foundation situation, it was a lack of effort. That's it. Now, what's crowning? Could have been a lack of effort in friendships is what I'm feeling, or relationships in general. Maybe even in work. Show me. What's crowning? What's crowning? What's crowning? You got Virgo, Hiley, and Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. The eighth could be of significance. <clears throat> Show me. Crowning, please and thank you. My goodness gracious. Could I have the crowning for Sunday sauce? Thank you. The king of pentacles, I like it. Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus energy, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. This person is a solid, practical leader with a very wise investor. Somebody, you know, who's very uh, disciplined and protective, reliable, a very good business person, like I said, and abundant, okay? Very practical and down to earth. Somebody likes to drink wine here. Like, I'm seeing rosé, rosé wine. Somebody might have some kind of a tricycle. Somebody's eating a BLT. I'm seeing a BLT. Or maybe it's a grilled cheese with tomato. <laughs> Maybe it's a grilled cheese and tomato. Maybe. 
Show me. Now, ooh, shit. The Emperor, Aries Energy. Wow. So listen, this could be a job offer from somebody who owns some kind of a, you know, like their own company or something. But the Emperor, let me just say about the Emperor. The Emperor is, there was the nose. It's Aries Energy. It could be Aries or Taurus, but it's Aries, all right? So listen, this is somebody who's stable and dependable, structured. It's the best attributes of all four kings rolled up into one, all right? So it could be a father or a father figure, but it doesn't have to be. This is an intentional leader. Everybody looks up to the emperor, okay? So the fourth could be of significance or April. So, yeah, that's the top of the heap. You know, that's it. That's the, the boss of all bosses. After the emperor comes source. Somebody might be running their own empire here. They might have, you know, Aries and Earth in their chart. You, some of you might have a job bar for coming in. Let me see how you're eyeballing this. In your pineal glands, in the back of your head, how are you, how are you perceiving this energy? This emperor. I'm going to boss figure. Let me see. So, like, you know, if this was the Godfather Tower, the Emperor would definitely be Marlon Brando. <laughs> All right, let's see what's going on here. Please, how are you looking at this? How are you looking at this? You're looking at this like the Six of Minuta, the Six of Pentacles. Oh, well, you're looking at this like somebody's trying to maybe be very generous to you or support you in some way. Very possibly financially. So, like, somebody might be helping you out. Let's say you were unemployed or something, or this person's going to come in and offer you some kind of a job. It's the Six of Pentacles. It's an energy of benevolence and generosity. It's help, material, financial, spiritual, emotional, whatever. In this case, it looks like some kind of financial situation, all right? The Six could be of uh, significance. Somebody might be 64 here, or 46. That's 10. So, you're looking at this like some kind of help, or... It's, you know, you're very grateful for it, whatever it is. I like it. We have 666. 666 megahertz, 666 hertz. This is opening up our heart chakra, okay? And while we're on the subject, playing in the background, I have it set at 936 hertz. Or you could go 448 megahertz. It doesn't matter. It, this is about your third eye. It's about intuition, clarity, awareness, self-awareness. It lets you see things, right? Uh, you know, the element is light. The color is indigo. So the indigo is that dark, dark blue around the uh, amulet here. The, you know, mantra is I see. I see, okay? And uh, with the third eye chakra, you know, uh, it's anything like indigo. So I would go with, um, I would go with um, <laughs> amethyst. Wow. Total fucking brain fart there. <laughs> Lapis lazuli might be good. Um, yeah, blue, blue, how light, maybe, I don't know. Here, let's see what's going on. You'll figure it out. Third eye, Google it. What's in the environment here? Tell me, please and thank you. It's about clarity, right? Your own clarity, third eye. Let me see. Oh, boy, oh, boy. So this is going to be the end of your burdens. And then you got a nine of rapini, a nine of, look at this. Look at this. Okay, so this could be somebody in your friend group or your social environment. This could be somebody in your community. Maybe you're going to be out going to some kind of a social event or a gathering or whatever it is. Maybe you're going out for, you know, to eat at a restaurant. Seeing lasagna now. All right? And what what this is, is it's a wish come true. It's a nine of Rapinia. Rapinia here, like I told you, is cups. So it's some kind of success, some kind of wish coming true, because it's going to be the end of whatever burdens, baggage, and bullshit. This is the ten of quarter. The ten of quarter is wands. This is the weight of the world on somebody's shoulder. This is too much responsibility, duty, stress, and obligation. Okay? So this is what's in your environment right now. It's coming to an end because you have a wish coming true. Somebody can be 39. It's going to make you very happy. You're going to have some kind of success. And you need to concentrate. And you know, I'm going to tell you something. This is the three of cups with the ten, with the nine of rapine. The nine of cups, right? So be strong. Remember I said somebody has to, yeah. Not, somebody here wasn't putting any effort into maybe relationships. So there could be, you know, there's people around. This is telling you that you're going to have success in your relationships, your friendships, your community, whatever this is. If this is a new job, you're going to go there. They're going to love you. There's some kind of transformation going on here. Let's uh, see what the most likely outcome is. So, you know, it, with this with this offer and some help, whether it's, you know, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, or financially, it's going to be the end of the weight of the world on your shoulders. It's going to be a friend that's going to reach out or somebody in your social group, somebody in the community, like I said. Maybe some kind of, like, maybe you're going to a store and somebody in the community offers you a job or something. You don't know, right? 
You don't know. There's definitely, you know, Big Daddy's coming in here, okay? And you're going to find this very, very um, fulfilling, all right? And it's going to make you very happy. So, what's the most likely outcome? Is the Eight of Lunga. The Eight of Lunga is the Eight of Swords coming out in reverse, meaning that you're going to come out of your head. You're not going to be worried anymore. This is going to free you up, all right? You're going to, yeah, it's the Eight of Lunga, the Eight of Swords in reverse. This is going to empower you. This is going to help you take control of the whole situation. That's good. Now, you got the five of minutes. So some of you might be in some kind of financial poverty here. It could be. But you also got the three of three pentacles, meaning that this, this person is going to work with you. So three of pentacles means that this teamwork makes the dream work. It's apprenticeship, it's effort, it's collaboration. You're going to pick a, you know, listen, some of you are going to bounce you out. Now you got the two of Athena here. Okay. Oh, it's the two of cups. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It was a, was a new offer. So some of you, that's the offer. You're sitting in poverty right now for whatever reason. Just don't be hanging around at home, smoking pot all day, not accomplishing anything, watching TV and eating, right? There is going to be some level of apprenticeship here. I will tell you if it's a new job, watch anybody that's watching over your shoulder here. You know these people, I don't like people standing over my shoulder. You might have somebody standing over your shoulder here. But you do have a two of cups. So there's a new emotional awakening with the ace of quarter, meaning the quarter is the want. It's going to be hot. You and somebody else are going to be very sexually attracted to each other. It could be at the job. I'm going to tell you, with the, somebody's going to be watching you at the page of job. Oh, yeah, look what I told you. See, remember I said somebody's standing over your shoulder, and then you got the page of Lunga. Lunga is swords, meaning somebody's watching you. This could be somebody at work. Maybe it's somebody at work that's going to bring you some kind of a, an offer. Maybe they just hot for you, like they're looking at you and they're hot for you. But you're going to probably feel the same way. So just be, you know, mindful. Yeah, oh, now you got the, yeah, just be, you're going to get some kind of truth about this. Yeah, all right. Whatever this is, it's going to bring fantasy and balance in your life. And you do have the wheel of fortune turning in your favor, so we like it. So if somebody stands it over your shoulder, you feel like some, you know, got eyes on you. Just be mindful. Somebody, you know, maybe has the hots for you. This is what I'm feeling. That's good. Let's get these new little kippers. Now, the Queen of Minuta, you could either be turning into this Queen of Pentacles or, you know... This could be somebody, don't forget, you got the King of Pentacles up here. Oh, shit. Yeah, you got the King of Pentacles up here. So we got the King to the Queen. Hold on, let me move this over because now I got to do more. Oh, you guys. All right, so it's the Queen to the King. And that's where this Two of Cups comes in. That's where this Two of Rapini comes in. And they're going to be half for each other. So this could be like some kind of business partnership that turns into something romantic or sexual at the very least. You're going to see this for what it is. It's clear. All right, let's uh, get some of these new little kippers. They're so cute. The cutest little kippers in the world. By the way, guys, we're sending you health, wealth, love, abundance, and prosperity in every freaking fucking form possible to infinity and beyond. Here in Mezzaluna. Show me. Please and thank you. Somebody likes to wear bandanas. Maybe around their head or around their neck. See the tied bandana. Somebody's got some eyeglasses that are mad. Um, yeah, they're very, they're very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? They're beautiful, but they're ornate. Like they have sequins or something on them, ornate. <laughs> Sometimes the words that come out of my mouth. Yeah, all right, let's just keep going. That's it, you know it's not me talking ornate. You ain't see me in a regular conversation saying the word ornate. I mean, I know, listen, I was an English major. I could give you words, forget it, but I don't use them. All right, let's see. Can I have a damn thing here? All right, so listen, there could be a child. Like, somebody might have a child that they need to support. <clears throat> somebody, could, somebody could be working for their parents here. Oh, wow, yeah, because the emperor could be a father or father figure here. This might be a father and, or even a mother that comes in and tells you to come work at the family business or something like this because you're their child or you have to support a child. Uh, you know, this could be somebody that's older, maybe 81. Maybe they want you to take over some kind of a position here. The ninth could be of significance. Somebody's innocent. Something about a little brown teddy bear. Oh, somebody has respect for somebody. Somebody holds somebody in high honors. Somebody could be 52 here. The seventh could be of significance. So that's July. What else do we have? Please and thank you. Sunday sauce. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, somebody could be passing away, guys. I'm so sorry. If you are losing somebody or you just have or you do wind up sometime in the future, in the near future, uh, yeah, we love you. We're sending you our condolences and all kinds of support, okay? 
the 19th could be a season. This person might be 91. It might be like an old person. Old man. Maybe that's why they want you to come. Listen, if you have like parents that own some kind of, I don't care if it's a little mom and pop deli. I don't care what it is. All right. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be, you know, some kind of huge fortune 500 company. Maybe they want you to come and work because, you know, now they need you to take over the business that they busted their ass for all those years. Something like this. Because, you know, somebody might pass away. Maybe it's that time. Anyway, they have enough respect for you to think you can handle it. So, uh, you know, there's that. Show me. Somebody could be getting married here as well. Somebody sitting in one of these chairs like I sit in that squeak. Like what? I want to get one of those chairs. Let's see the other contact creators. With the big back. It looks so comfortable. You can sit in that shit for days. <laughs> this thing, I got a pillow under my ass. I want to get out of this chair. Every time I move, it squeaks. The wheels are destroying the floor underneath me. Here. Yeah. All right. So what else? I don't know why. Here, yeah, there's a good outcome. Yeah, we'll leave it at that. So I'm going to be 51 to 6 June. This is going to be a really good outcome, okay? At the bottom of the deck, we have a good lady here. Well, it's better than a bad one. <laughs> Somebody might have to go to court. This could be like some paperwork. There's a great fortune involved in this, and that's all you need to know. <coughs> Let me get your letters. All right, guys, here we go. I got to show you Delilah's pajamas. She's going to kill me. Look, eat, sleep, nap, repeat. Look at it. She's like, what the hell? <laughs> puts on. Here we go. Bling one. Look at this. Four E's? Oh, my God. Oh, what is this? Somebody's going to be playing pool. I see it. Somebody's going to find the cure or something. Cure? That could be auto insurance. Somebody might use cure auto insurance. Guys, you have five E's. All right? That's crazy. You have C, R. You got a lot of vowels. Let's get you some more. Yeah. You know, I go all the way down to the bottom of the bed. What do they all hang out in groups? I'm getting like little, um, you know, fish. Like, you know, fish, what do they hang out in? Groups? It's called something else. Pods, pods of fish. No, those are whales. What is it called? Look at it. <laughs> you got another E. So there's a whole, like, uh, little group here of E's. <laughs> Whatever the hell they call those little fish. Okay, so, yeah. This is a blank. You have C C G R M. I'm hearing Grummond. Grummond? What is that? A blank. A, six E's, two I's and a U. Guys, we love you. Thank you so much. Always remember, lead with logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy. Trust in God. Karma is real. And until next time, love, light, and laughter.